Judge Marlene Gonzalez worked closely with Kaufman when the two held positions in the El Paso County Attorney's Office in the early 2000s. It just doesn't make sense to me. Judge Jesus Rodriguez also met Kaufman in the County Attorney's Office. He said a friend called him the night of the shooting to tell him the awful news. I called her and I texted her and I didn't see her. I didn't receive a response. So that's when I really got worried. And I was really hoping that uh, it just wasn't true. Nearly a year passed before police arrested a suspect. On September 9th, 2021, 38-year-old Joseph Alvarez was booked into the county jail, charged with murder and aggravated assault. El Paso police detailed in the affidavit how they came to suspect Alvarez for Kaufman's murder. Police wanted to find out who was in the neighborhood at the time of the deadly shooting. Detectives obtained a Google geofence search warrant. For all the data relating to phones that were active in and around a certain geographic area. And usually it's a very specific area, like a block or a home. Police zeroed in on a device near the Kaufman house at the time Georgette and Daniel were shot. Police gained access to a Google account attached to that device. The account belonged to Joseph Alvarez. In a file of sent emails was one to a military intelligence group on November 14th, 2020, the morning Georgette was killed. The email was 22 pages long of Alvarez allegedly explaining his extremist religious beliefs. Police say he identified those who are pro-choice as the Jewish Satanist Party, called Democrats liars, and called for no more Democrat Party officials. Based on the information gathered by El Paso police during their investigation, this was a crime motivated by extreme political views, something El Paso Democratic Congresswoman Veronica Escobar said she often had to address during her campaigns both in 2020 and in 2022. This is about presenting people as enemies who should be targeted and in some ways uh, potentially harmed. Alvarez's murder trial has been rescheduled from November 4th of this year to March of 2023. In my podcast, hear how police narrowed their search for the suspect, the chilling information they say they found in his digital data, and the path to justice both the prosecution and defense are trying to carve before Alvarez goes before a jury. Download and subscribe to Borderline Crimes on your favorite listening platform, or you can listen to it now on KVIA.com. Stephanie Valle, ABC7.